excited to be here and hang out with all of you. And um, please get sleep and please eat some food. Please do all the other things you're supposed to do to take care of yourself and not get coronavirus. All right, this is it, Everfree 2021. It's been such a long year and a half since the, since HarmonyCon was the last convention I've been to. And actually it was the last US convention, but uh, it looks like things are lightening up now uh, and Everfree is here, it's today. We're at day one already. We're gonna jump right into it. Now introducing a new feature of the vlog, Little Shy POV, <laughs> a new GoPro. So this is really useful for spontaneous events. You know, convention is always something happening. And I hate having to say, oh wait, one moment, let me pull up the camera. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm not really feeling well right now. Uh, I, I'm jet lagged, I got a migraine. The usual stuff for me at conventions, right? But uh, I'll do my best to document everything the best I can. So stay tuned. What do you think, Derpy? So hi, nice to see you. How you been? Pretty good. Yeah, it's great to see you. I'm glad you made it as a community guest. Yeah, it's been a while since uh, a con at all, obviously. Hey, how's it going? Hey! Welcome back to the convention scene. I should be vlogging too, you just reminded me. So now I'm recording from two different angles. I've been wanting to do that for a while, and one on my head. That's like something I've been wanting to do for ages. Yeah. How much do GoPros usually go for nowadays? Oh, they're crazy. They're pretty expensive. Like, 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 like up to like 500 bucks. This, this was my stimulus oh. check. <laughs> it, it was, it literally was. <laughs> <laughs> well, the most expensive thing was I got my dad just a really nice French cologne from the from the Paris Valley. Well, most of issues are just the episode itself, not the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I don't think I mentioned it yet. This is my first year technically being a special guest at a convention. Uh, Race and Minty Root and such have been nice enough to invite me to panels in the past, but this is my first time actually being in the opening ceremonies backstage before it starts, so that's pretty exciting. All is quiet for now. So yeah, I get to bring you guys this exclusive behind the scenes look for change. This isn't very common for my vlogs, but yeah, it should be a fun time. I just said exclusive, but Race is here too. So check out Race's vlog as well. Hey. And actually, you said I was a walking camera earlier. That's more true than usual because I actually have the battery for my camera right here. That's awesome. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I thought I was you, you been showing up. <laughs> I, I, it's okay. Where's my grandpa, grandpa? Little side has been showing me up for years. Let's not, <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. See you guys got front row seats. Hey, little shy. Hi, man. Oh, hi, little shy. How are you doing, man? How's it going? It's a pleasure to meet you, little shy. Nice to meet you, too. It's not always recording, but you caught it that time. Nice. <laughs> you guys know the drill, right? Since Martin's drag, we're going to be doing that. We have a super podcast channel later. Who's going to be at Who's Line tomorrow? We're gonna get out of this one here. I did indeed. This is Little Shy FIM, everybody. Do you like those top 10 lists every month? This guy doesn't. You want more of them? Vote. 
Okay? Thank you for giving me a chance, but not put me on the floor. <laughs> I don't think I've shown the vlog my tactical plus yet. Goes with all the rest of the gear I got on. <laughs> so what do you do here? You uh, selling like albums and stuff? Well, Pega is selling ah. wonderful albums. Cool. There, it's the plushie meetup. Maybe we can start a plushie meetup. If we sit here for long enough, people will just bring them. <laughs> Alright, I think we're here for Bronny's React. Let's see. Alright, so if anyone ever wanted to rifle me when it comes to like con vlogs and whatnot, this guy has a holster for his camera. <laughs> Not even kidding. Please welcome to the stage, Little Shy FIM! <laughs> So I like to start wars between friends. So, so I'm assuming that you all have like your own favorite characters, correct? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> ponies, all okay. favorite ponies and stuff like that. Which one do you think is the worst? <laughs> which, like, which? Someone say derpy. Someone say it. One, two, three, four, <laughs> not, not to her face. Oh. You wouldn't say it to her face. You want a war? Okay, fine. Yes. Derpy is as big a mistake as having oh, Little Shy oh. in the react. Oh. <laughs> I disagree with everything about that statement, and uh, I'll see you after the panel. <laughs> Oh no. I threw the gauntlet at Little Shy. <laughs> oh god, no. I threw the gauntlet. Little Shy and I are just gonna have kind of a stare off at each other. Get a really good close-up shot of us just staring into each other's eyes. Is it lovingly? <laughs> no. No, disparagingly. Now, oh, hang on to it, zoom out. Alright. Because I just lost. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I just noticed the Twilight plush has a mask now. Some time has passed. I uh, took a break, ate some food, that sort of thing. Now I'm wandering around and uh, hopefully looking up, looking up and look forward to uh, meeting some friends. So yeah, stay tuned. Oh, that's neat. Even the hotel has these uh, decals on the doors. That's really cool. It took me forever to figure out where the name was, like, you know, the little shy name. I was like, wait a minute, we feature your stuff on a push there you go. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah, I better make sure I vlog this. That's so up there is my uh, YouTube channel. Cool, thank okay. you so much. What do you think? Will they be gone or will nobody even want one? I guess we'll come back later and find out. <laughs> All right, let's do the vendor hall. <laughs> Your poster and your challenge cool. cool. and you have a wonderful convention. Thank you, you too. So Necktie and I are hanging out in uh, Vendor Hall again. This is kind of the place to be, just to kind of mosey around, look for things. Tell some people, just tell me about this, but... You know, it's like this bat <laughs> she is super cute. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, plushes, plushes are like the, the thing to get. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. It's crazy, the G5 trailer just came out like yesterday. Yeah, yeah I, we, I literally watched it last night in the hotel room. Yeah, just yesterday and we already have uh, a bunch of new plushies, that's crazy. Which doesn't surprise me at all. What'd you get? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Thank you. 
cute. I'm gonna go meet some family. We're gonna get some dinner together. I don't think that'll be part of the vlog unless something really interesting happens. So this might be the end of day one. If not, I won't put this in the video. So yeah, stay tuned for more. Day two of Everfree Northwest 2021. Not a whole lot of plans for me this day, but that might be a good thing. Maybe we'll just kind of hang out and see what happens, catch some spontaneous events. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Hey, Jessica, how have you been? Um, tired. <laughs> tired, me too. What, what's this line for? This is for silver clothes um, after the fact. Ah, cool. And of course, being day two, the pins are indeed gone. Let's put some more out. And there they are. Let's see how long they last this time. It's a long thing. It's what we do. <laughs> all right. I'm kind of just wandering around looking for all the different rooms of the convention. So let's see what's on the third floor. Looks like here's the card room. Pretty small room for playing the trading card game. And then that would be the cosplay repair station. And that's for uh, con ops. Projects. I learned that while all those things are important, it is not the most important skill that a scientist has. Um, so I think that's a room for like writing and crafts and stuff, which is pretty cool because everyone gets a little dust. <laughs> what is that? You, Rainbow Dash, are chilling in a tree thinking about how to increase your pool effect. So that crew is just about to go into the escape room, which isn't something I've ever tried. Uh, probably won't be featured in this vlog, but who knows? Maybe I'll find some friends interested in it. But yeah, let's keep exploring. And then let's go downstairs one more. Just give you a little bit of a tour, I suppose. Oh wait, before we do, let's just peek in Silver Quill's panel. All right, everyone, hello and good morning. How y'all doing? Excellent, excellent. The crew's all here. <laughs> how, how are you doing this Saturday morning? Much better than yesterday. I'm, I'm still recovering from just traveling here. By the time I'm fully recovered, it'll be time to go home. <laughs> Not the meeting up, meeting up silver quill? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that <laughs> was an much. exhausting process, yes. <laughs> Been going good? Yeah, I'm just kind of roaming, looking at all the rooms I haven't seen yet, uh, uh, giving a tour of the vlog. I'll probably have to go through uh, vendors. Yeah, I think I was just heading there, actually, if you yeah, want to join vendors me. That, I know it's like you take that stair down. Right, I'll see you around then. Yeah, yeah. See, you see you around, man. Yep. All right, now indeed, let's head downstairs. But yeah, so we got autographs here, and then vendor halls in the big room over here. <laughs> and once again, vendor hall. Next to my. And of course, here's the hotel lobby we saw from upstairs. Very nice looking lobby, good place to meet up with friends. So yeah, things are a little bit different this year. Uh, not as many friends to meet up with. I remember back in the good old days of BronyCon, we'd have like 10, almost 20 people in one group storming the con. Obviously we met Redcard and um, Achievement Hunter and uh, of course Jessica and Necktie. There's, there's a bunch of friends here. But yeah, it's mostly been kind of quiet for me, just kind of roaming around, enjoying the sights and sounds. And I'm doing my best to bring all the things to see to you. So stay tuned. Oh, this is weird. I don't know if I took a wrong turn or if this is actually the way up there, but this is the other side of the third floor. So like I said, things are a little bit scattered. There's rooms all over the place. So up here, I believe there's a sponsor's lounge, uh, some kind of party room, and the renegade stage. So let's just see what's up here. This is weird though. I feel like I took a wrong turn. <laughs> I'm guessing the party room is just actually suites. I'm out of breath from the stairs. Kind of a weird setup indeed. I think we're here. This is the renegade stage. But yeah, kind of weirdly spread out. I think that might be part of the reason why there's not so many people out right now. Everyone's scattered in different rooms and such. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> Quick intermission here at the hotel room. Getting a drink, some food, resting a little bit. 
Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. We got a good view of the cranes doing some construction here. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll be heading back to the con in just a moment. I feel like it's worth mentioning that uh, conventions are both the highlight and a really rough time for me. Uh, I've got pretty severe social anxiety or social phobia, whatever you want to call it. I just want to put that out there uh, to be nice and open about it because <laughs> I always fear I'm going to have an interaction with someone that, and I might appear disinterested or, or not like like I'm not having fun with. When really, it's the opposite. These uh, these conventions are a big deal to me. So I'm really thankful to all the cool people I've met and all the people who've been really understanding and nice. And uh, yeah, to anyone else out there who might also struggle with some kind of anxiety or social phobia. And I, I can imagine you sitting there watching these vlogs and seeing all these pictures of all these fun extroverts out there at conventions. Uh, just know you're not alone, and heck, if I can do it, you can do it too. So, yeah, look forward to more pony conventions in the future. I know I will be. Stay tuned for more. I really need something better than just stay tuned. I think I say stay tuned after every recording, don't I? Boop. Actually, while we're starting... Well, hello! Oh, never mind, we're starting. <laughs> the Everfree Northwest 2021 Cosplay Contest. Of the cosplay contest there, and uh, we're gonna go check another panel and see what's up. Okay, so Jessica, what panel is this? This is the TF2 analysis anarchy panel. You can I will accept real money. <laughs> well, thank you to all of our guests this, today. We had a great time. Hope you enjoyed that as well out there. But okay. I follow you on Twitter. So oh, thank you for that. I uh, like your post, so you might have recognized if I like ever commented something. I probably will now. <laughs> Hanging out, waiting for Hoops Line, and what are the odds of this? Oh, look, it's the banner for Everfree 2020. Thanks, Jake Lyman. I am so glad to be here. We're back. back. Here's the finale. Tiffany, AC Race Best, and Saber Spark. Yeah. Get out of here. Saber Spark, AC. The hoedown about the next generation of ponies. G5. Whatever you're ready, my getting out soon. Gonna check out some other panels, hopefully. Put out another few rows of buttons. This is the last of the buttons. So hey, if you're watching this vlog and you pick up a button from here, uh, consider a limited edition, I suppose. Yeah, let's see how quickly they go. All right, so that was nice. We, uh, a little while ago, we did Hooves Line. We watched that. And just now, I just got out of a panel. None of it was recorded. It was a very, personal nice panel is actually a faith-based panel it was literally brony church of all things i know how crazy that sounds but it was actually really nice uh, met some cool people there they even like the part of the reason i didn't vlog any of it is they even cut off the stream because that's how personal it was people opened up about their past and their beliefs and all that and yeah it was very friendly and nice i'm glad i went to that so yeah 
stay tuned. This might be the end of, or nearing the end of day two, but there's always more to come. Well, this is the table where I left the pins. I hope it's not just one person taking them, but it's good that they're distributed. So yeah, with that, that's all the pins gone. I hope, uh, hope they got to a lot of people. It's pretty cool how quick they go. Pretty much end of day two. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for day three. Investigators theorized her killer used the gun to force her into the woods where he raped her. <laughs> That's some great background audio for this vlog. <laughs> that is the most sinister, evil looking sun I've ever seen. Apparently there's uh, wildfires or something around the area and this haze is from the smoke of that. Pretty, pretty creepy stuff. Alright, welcome to day three. All is pretty quiet here in the morning during the con. Um, <laughs> apparently last night was not so quiet. I completely missed out on it. I slept right through it, but the first three floors were apparently evacuated due to a uh, and a mishap in the kitchen. There was no actual fire, but the fire alarm went off, so <laughs> hopefully I can find somebody to tell that story a lot better than I can, having missed out on the whole thing. But yeah, stay tuned for more. We got a couple more panels, and of course, closing ceremonies is of course this evening. So yeah, stay tuned. The vlog's not quite over yet. Hopefully it's a good day three. See you soon. And so I leave and I go up, and by the time I get my room, I check Twitter and it says, by the way, there's a mandatory evacuation of the first three yeah. hours. <laughs> I, I apparently slept through the whole thing. I went to bed early and woke up reading about it. I was like, oh, didn't know about that. <laughs> I did look out my window and I saw flashing red lights from the fire. Engine, I'm surprised so. I didn't see a thing. <laughs> Hanging out, mostly chatting about derpy and movies and stuff. So that's yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, full papers, right? I got your tweet. Good morning. Good morning. Again. Oh, my first time in here. Lots of cool stuff. So, chunk of burning flag, one of only three that is double-sided. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I have been charged by Simon to get everyone to sign it. More and more table space. Mm -hmm. And the stuff that's in the instant buy for charity has been, I'm sure, I'm sure we're over the 50 to 60 items that they wanted us to have, but we'll make it work, which as we always do. Cool. All right, I'm going to head out, but uh, awesome. yeah, Thank thanks for letting me know. Take it easy. Have a good rest of the day. Yes, you too. That was a quick look at the charity auction room where later today they're going to be auctioning off that cool stuff. Uh, as you probably saw, I got to sign a couple items, which is really nice. Hopefully I'll be able to see them get auctioned. That'd be exciting. So what happened last night? I, I completely missed out on the whole thing. I was in my hotel so, room. I was in the escape room and uh, we were just finishing up. We weren't able to do it all. So I thought it was part of the escape room at first. Uh... <laughs> I thought, I, I realized, oh no, wait, this is real. We went down the stairs out of the building and uh, it was crazy. I was kind of scared. Yeah. yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was intense. There was speculation uh, be throwing around as to why it was happening. Yeah. So what did you hear? Uh, it was in the end. I think I have an idea, but I'm curious if you knew. So a, from what Simmel told us in the 13 Coins restaurant, apparently there was work being done uh -huh. and somebody accidentally hit the pipe, the fire system. <laughs> I woke up and I saw the tweets and stuff on Discord. And I'm like, oh, something happened last yeah, night. Yeah, so are you not my, staying in this hotel? I am. I'm on like the ninth floor, so oh, I didn't I hear a thing up there. That the oh. alarms didn't go up. I'm on the 14th floor and yeah. I didn't hear anything. Oh, wow. oh, okay, so they did go up in the room. After. I heard one story from a guy who uh, who was awake at the time and heard on Twitter, Discord, wherever what was going on. They were on like one of the teens' floor, really high up. They heard about it. Elevators were turned off, so they were freaking out. Like, oh no, we need to get out. So he ran down the, uh, the, the stairs oh from God. like one of the 10th floors. <laughs> I, I just heard that secondhand, but like, yeah, I guess it was uh, a little bit of chaos last night. Yeah, How about you, Chief best. Hunter? Were you there last night? Uh, main the, event hall for, for Black all, Griffin all set. The performance. Mm -hmm. For Black Griffin set, when they turned off the alarms, I couldn't <laughs> believe that happened. Yeah. I was barefooted. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the yep. guy, <laughs> this Paul Blard wannabe. Oh no. Uh, the segue said, no. <laughs> on a segue? Yeah, on a segue. <laughs> you know, so, okay, so let, let me back up here just a yeah. second. So, um, we're all outside um, waiting for like the fire crews to arrive, and this guy on a on a Segway is like ru like rolling through, and we're just cheering like, "There goes Paul Blart! He's gonna save all of us!" <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we all went back outside. Yeah. Herd mentality at finest. Yeah, there you go. Herd mentality at a pony convention. Uh, What's this? Uh, wait, wait. I gotta I gotta see this sign. He survived the plague. Do I, political turmoil. <laughs> One lonely year. Oh, wait, why isn't LineCon checked off yet? 
Well, he, well, well it's not over yet. He yeah. has Okay. Yet. All right. Yeah, you have to survive. I'll hang in there then. <laughs> yeah. also, nice sign. Also, Los do you nice like sign. the derpy mask? Yeah, I do like it. Thank you so much for that. So yeah, yeah. Chief Hunter here, he gave me a uh, mask uh, yesterday as a gift. I wasn't vlogged because it was like in the middle of a panel. You quickly yeah, ran in, ran out. But yeah, thank you very much for that. So back in my room. <laughs> Staff photo time. At this point, two weeks old. Okay, yeah, I haven't really caught up yet. Anyway, we're uh, gonna see. Okay, there is a line here. Let's get in line. Uh, the YouTuber panel is coming up soon, so let's check that out. Like, what? <laughs> So back meeting up with Necktie and uh, yeah, you were also at the concert when the the, the false alarm went off. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was so surreal. Like it's like one of those airplane airplane announcements. Like yeah, thank you for flying. We have a fire. Please <laughs> exit orderly. And everybody's just like, what? What? Yeah, like you can't believe it at first. Hey, good morning. It's Sunday. Welcome to Sunday school. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday school. Welcome to Sunday school. <laughs> I heard there was a fire last night. Alarm. An alarm? What happened? I was actually asleep. So apparently they were defrosting as they were chiseling away. Okay. They depressurized the fire suppressing system. Oh god. And for some reason that's a problem. What did you do? Because I knew Little Shy was the one to ask. <laughs> and the low budget TV account that we had, uh, we used to have a whole bunch of Monster Jam videos on there, Monster Trucks. They put a strike on like 15 of our videos and we got a notification saying in 24 hours your channel is going to be deleted. Like you said with Little Shy, I'm like well, this worked before and saying hey I'd, I'd like to work something out so I don't have this strike because not knowing that and again I'm thanking Little Shy for this, I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have been like, I'm screwed. Well, I'm screwed, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and actually going that route, we got a hold of Monster Jam, and they said, yeah, if you take down your videos, we'll take away the strikes. Folks, thank you for joining us. Thank you. 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 Thank Okay, cool panel for YouTube stuff. That was nice to see there. <laughs> they even had a couple shout outs for me there. So up next, I uh, might do something a little bit different. I think I'm gonna meet some family and we're gonna go to an Amazon store. I'm gonna go to one of those Amazon stores where you can just pick stuff up and walk out without checking out. I've never experienced that before. I think the technology is really cool. Anyway, yeah, stay tuned. There's more to come. Um, later is a charity auction and closing ceremonies and of course, whatever other fun stuff we find along the way. So yeah, I'll see you later. There, now we can go in. You didn't get it? No, I'm on your account now. So anything we pick up is, is charged to you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I guess it's mostly cameras. I don't see the pressure plates. The bones. Unless yeah. Yeah. So now you can just put that in your pocket or a bag or something I'm not and walk out. Pocket. No, you can. Until I get outside. <laughs> You're gonna do it. Well, I'm gonna go off. Yeah, I mean it should be on his account. I'm curious how this is gonna work. Yeah. Then we run. <laughs> yeah. So now, now once we get out there, check your phone and see if it got all three items. So yeah, I heard about Amazon Go or uh, just walk out whatever a long time ago, and I never thought I'd actually have a chance to try it out. But yeah, here we are. It's just not that far. Was it 10 minutes or so from the convention? That was fun. <laughs> you just pick up what you want and walk out. So yeah, we'll get back to the convention in a moment. All right, I lied. There's one more thing to check out. There's a really cool garden nearby, apparently. So we're going to check that out. I'll get a couple shots of it, and then we'll go back to the con. How's that sound? Chance for me to show off the uh, Hascon t shirt I don't wear very much. Hascon 2017. <laughs> the first and last. <laughs> you think so? Oh, yeah. You got the macro lens for that. back at the con. Uh, I'm gonna head to the charity auction, maybe meet some people and figure out what we're doing for closing ceremonies coming up. Yeah.
did make the gun with it. The items that they have so generously donated to the auction. Can we we keep, we keep meeting like individually. It's hard to get the whole game here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I've been, I've been told about every time. Hey folks, check this out. This is issue number what, 16. Very early in the Friends Forever series. Uh, of course, uh, Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon signed by a whole lot of voice actors. 475 coming twice. Sold for 475. Thank you very much. $10,000. 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 2, 210, 220, 220, 220 on once, 220 on twice. Sold, $220. Look at this. This is the traditional t shirt quilt. How about, oh, I'm not even going to go short on this one. This one's going to be five, five bills. All right, $500. Huh? Thousand. Thousand. Good choice. <laughs> thousand going once, thousand going twice. Goes home with you. Photographs and artwork. I will tell you who has signed this. It has been signed by all five of our VIPs, so Claire, Andy, Tom, Gabe, and Sonny. It has also been signed by community guests. 420. 440. Four, four fifty is all you're gonna go. How about four sixty? She's out. Four sixty. You're in, right? All right, here we go. Four eighty. Five. Five twenty. You're out at five, right? Out at five. Five. Five one once. Five one twice. So. Can we pretend airplanes in the night sky? A wish. Right now. A wish. Right now. Wish. Sold. Three hundred dollars. Because you don't just get the pinbacks when you bid on this next lot. You get that. That which you may now turn around. Oh wait, there's more. We get a second board, which you may now turn around. But wait, there's, there's more. more. Three people to count these, and we all get different numbers. So it's about 519 pins there, collected over five years. 2400. 2600. That was his number. 2600. Are you sure about that? Because I will sweeten the deal. As a result of making these pins, which proved very popular, they were one of the very first artists and vendors in the fandom to receive a cease and desist order from Hasbro. <laughs> So these are rare, and you can't get them anywhere else. So all of those, they were so good, they were so early in the fandom, Hasbro said nope. So you get one of those for winning this. So you want back in? He wants back in. I like it. 2,800. Three grand. 31. Now he's out. 31. Going once. 31. One twice. Oh. Last bit, last item. So you guys remember Tootsie Forever. Uh, he was always going to cons and doing stuff. Well, look, he's here with us today. So yeah, we miss you, Tootsie. We wish you were here. Hopefully next time, right? <laughs> we miss you, Tootsie. Yeah. What is this, the vlogger meetup? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the vlogger meetup. Uh, yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Completely over, overspent on this Have you guys had a good weekend? That's the nice. So, in case it's not obvious, closing ceremonies are starting right now, right after the charity auction, so let's check that out. unusual circumstances, you all have been absolutely fantastic, and I have to say, it feels great to see you all again. Who here is at their very first ever free?
well, it's hard to predict when we're dealing with such strange times. But despite all of the odds, believe it or not, we had a total of 1,676 of you. Thank you all so much for coming. You have helped to show the community that conventions can come back. Of our charity funding for Washington Autism Alliance totals to $30,485. set in stone yet because we're still kind of figuring out this whole COVID thing. We're still figuring out the guest situations for next year. So this same weekend next year is what we're shooting for what we're planning on. We'll let you know as soon as that's a real thing. Efforts to make you a great event for all of you. Close the gates and lower the flag for this year's Everfree Northwest 2021. <laughs> Everfree Northwest first began nearly 10 years ago, the same way many other events begin. A group of friends, shared passion, a recognition of the potential to build something great. They weren't all alike. They didn't all look the same, they didn't all act the same or dress the same. They didn't all believe the same things. But in that diversity, they were united in their common vision, inspired by a show we all know and love, to bring Equestria to Earth for three days. That will conclude Everfree 2021, uh, an extremely special convention for so many reasons. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for tuning into this vlog, and I hope to see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, wow. Maybe I'll share some more feelings once we get past the crowd here. And as I stroll down the lonely hallway, <laughs> um, yes, that ends Everfree 2021. Uh, again, a very big event for so many reasons. Many probably don't need to be expressed, but obviously the big return, I, well, I'm alone, the big return after a, a very long pandemic, and of course the promise of more to come. HarmonyCon was very hopeful too, because it promised that there was still interest in conventions so long after the show had ended. And here we are even longer, and a year and a half after, ever, again, after HarmonyCon, um, and there's still so much interest in this sort of thing and more to come with G5 and more fan content every day. So yeah, it's a very exciting time to be a brony. I hear from a lot of people that join and feel like they missed out, you know, like, oh, I wish I was a brony back in, you know, BronyCon 2019, for example. Um, and, you know, if you feel like you missed out, there's really, uh, sure, there are parts you've missed out on, maybe. <laughs> there's some things we'll never get back, but there are so many more things that are yet to come. So thank you so much for tuning into this vlog, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Oh.